Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm here today for the 24th 2-4. Man, we've come a long way uh, in just a few months on the new YouTube channel. The 24th installment of the Untold Truth in Detailing. Now today's topic is one that isn't real hard to figure out. I mean, but I have put together a situation to try to help you with this situation. So I get questions a lot about uniforms and what should you wear. And so I have a particular opinion on this topic and my opinion on this is based on how do I feel when I'm doing a job? Now I can tell you that as far as if you're going to do an estimate, like if you drive all over town to do estimates, then you want to look a little bit more professional, in my opinion, than if you're going to actually do a job. Now, if I'm not comfortable, I can't give you the best work. I can't do the best job. That's the bottom line. And um, I'm actually, uh, sorry if this looks a little bit shaky, I'm actually shooting this video today on my brand new GoPro Hero 5 uh, and checking it out. So, so when you go to a job and you're doing estimates, which I believe are a waste of, of money and time, uh, I believe that you should do most of your estimates on the phone, give them a variance of price, uh, and then like a maximum number that you'd like to see based on what you know, and then tell them it would be inside that number. That's kind of where I'm at. I'll shoot another video on how I do my estimates, like specifically, so you guys know that. Uh, but so when I am working and doing a job in here in Florida, uh, most of you guys know I, I live in Tampa, Florida, and I service all of Florida. Like a lot of times I travel down to South Florida, like Miami, Fort Lauderdale, that kind of area. I go up to Jacksonville, uh, Daytona, St. Augustine. I've been to Tallahassee. I mean, I've been all over Florida and I specialize in being able to do those trips for people who want me to do them. So uh, kind of where I'm at is I got to be comfortable. I sweat a lot. I am uncomfortable when I sweat. So I want to make sure that when I'm doing a job, I'm as comfortable as I can be. And one of the things that I do to make sure that I'm as comfortable as I can be is I use moisture wicking fabric. And I will show you the shirts that I recommend. I've been using them for about three or four years now, and they're fantastic. So the shirts that I have on, this particular shirt, is a Sport Tech uh, shirt. I'll show you that on Amazon. You can buy them on Amazon. You can have your own people do your screen printing or do whatever, uh, and that's fine. Uh, but as far as the moisture wicking top goes, I do recommend, you know, there's a level of professionalism that comes from screen printing or even uh, vinyl heat transfer, which is what I'll show you that I can do for you. Um, but you want to the customer to be able to identify uh, with what you do as far as your shirts go. But at the same time, you want to keep it simplistic in design so that when they look at it, they can gather that information and then go about their business and still retain what they saw, if that makes sense. So uh, you'll see that on, on the front of my shirt, it says Gary Dean's GaryDeansDetailJuice.com. That's not complicated. And then on the back, you may or may not be able to see the back of this, but I'm going to put the shirt back there. This one says Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Um, and so when people see this shirt, they understand what it is that they're getting into, what they're looking at. Uh, it's not complicated. It shows the website, which, you know, for me, the web address is really all I use to communicate uh, the information now because through the website, you can find all the other information about me. You can find the YouTube videos, so I don't need to mention any of that. You can find the phone number. I don't need to mention that. The address to the business. All that stuff is on the website. So I lead people to the website through my shirt advertising. So I recommend that you keep it as simple as possible. Uh, just like if you're doing yard signs or whatever, and you guys have seen my other videos where uh, one of, one video uh, in particular where I mentioned the best way to get business is the yard signs and the Craigslist ad. 
but you want to keep those small advertisements as short and sweet as possible uh, and use one avenue to direct them uh, to so that they can get all the information. Keep it as simple, short and sweet as possible. They'll retain the information and you'll most likely get a phone call if what you provide is what they need. And everybody needs a detailer. They just don't know it yet. So that's the bottom line with that. Like I said, this is a sport tech shirt. This, uh, I actually use the long sleeve shirts far more than the short sleeve shirts. It's like an air conditioner when I'm out there sweating to death and when I'm wanting to, to when, when the weather gets cooler like it is now, uh, I want the long sleeve shirt because it keeps me a little bit warmer. Uh, you want the moisture to be wicked away by the fabric. And so um, I'll show you this, like I said, is a sport, sport tech shirt. Um, but I got other shirts that I'll show you. I also have a fantastic hoodie that I just found that I'll be using uh, for my own business and promotional stuff. Uh, this is the, the hoodie. It is actually a performance hoodie by Sport Tech as well. And if I can find the tag for it, I can get you the information. So it's 100% uh, polyester uh, and polyester breathes really well. Uh, fleece is also really, really good too. Um, this is a, a very similar to fleece material inside. Uh, which is just the other side of the fabric but this is super smooth they look really nice they fit really well the fit is true to size i'm kind of fat these days i'm in an extra large i need to slim that down get back into a large like i like but for right now extra large is it and these sport tech uh hoodies are absolutely amazing uh like i mentioned before uh, I do the heat transfer. This is actually a Magnum Motorcycle Juice shirt that I made. This is just a regular t-shirt. It's a cotton t-shirt, nothing fancy. Um, uh, this is something I would just wear on a normal day where you know I just needed to throw on a shirt real quick. Don't mind doing some advertising. Uh, I personally, I, I won't wear other people's shirts because I can make my own and I'd rather advertise for myself than anybody else to be honest with you. So uh, I can do these heat transfer. The heat transfer vinyl that I use is Sizer Easy Weed. You can Google that. It's really good quality stuff. Uh, it's what all the professionals are using. I have a fancy uh, heat press right here. It's a di digital heat press. Uh, I like I said I've got all kinds of vinyls all kinds of and pretty much any color you want I also have a, a very nice vinyl plotter over there and that thing will allow me to do decals for you if you want uh, I've got some cool software so if you guys need vinyl decals I can hook you up with that at a decent price uh, if you need t-shirts I'll do uh, you know I can I can I'll do a minimum of six but they're gonna be $20 a piece for the short sleeve shirts, uh, $25 a piece for the long sleeve shirts. Uh, now I'm gonna go online real quick and I'm gonna show you uh, exactly what you need to get yourself uh, started with these moisture wicking shirts if you don't want me to do them. Now, the, the shirts that I just showed you, these Sport Tech ones, uh, are the only ones that I use, the only ones I recommend. They're a little bit more expensive than getting regular t-shirts done, and you can absolutely do that if you want to, but what I'm trying to say is, if you need a, a, a reliable source to get a few shirts so that you can get started, I can do that for you. I've got several uh, of my existing product line customers that I've done this for already, uh, but I just wanted to show you specifically online what I'm talking about. Now we're getting into cooler weather now, and this right here is the Sportec Men's Sportwick Fleece Hooded Pullover. That's the exact shirt that I have. Uh, this is actually what I was just showing you over here is the Lime Shock. Uh, you don't have to get lime. Uh, this is on Amazon.com. You can actually get lots of different colors. Um, I'm sure there are more than even this, but I buy them on Amazon. Uh, these shirts are around $25, $26 per hoodie plus my charge to, you know, put your name on the chest or put, you know, your whole business logo on the back. I can do all that for you with a vinyl heat transfer. I've got pretty much every color in stock. Um, 
for my labor to weed it all to to cut it weed it all out stuff like that you're looking at probably about fifty dollars a sweatshirt all in uh, i need you to get a few of those maybe a few t-shirts let me know i will i'll do my best to hook you up my point is not i'm not trying to be in the t-shirt business my point is i have the ability to do all this stuff very high quality really good stuff and i'm already doing it for myself and I invested in some really good equipment. What I'm doing is I'm trying to add value to my existing services to you to, to for you to be able to get into this stuff and look more professional for your business and not have to buy 36 shirts or more at a time, which is what most of the companies that do screen printing and that kind of thing, they want you to buy in volume uh, for them to even be worth doing it. Uh, I'll do it for you at a minimum of six six t-shirts uh, I'm gonna need you to do at least three of the hoodies uh, you know after I pay for vinyl uh, I use you know the wear and tear on my equipment and you know a little bit of time I'm not real I'm not making any money on you know at 50 bucks for a hoodie and I spent $26 to get it there's no money in it for me um, that is just as a sheer courtesy to you that I would do you that favor so that's kind of where I'm at if you want me to do some hoodies for you, I can do it. Uh, we'll work out a, a price. Uh, you know, a, 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 we'll figure it out. So just contact me, 813-846-4406. So that's the hoodie I would recommend. And then at the same time, uh, there I, I use the long sleeve, but these are the shirts. Sport Tech Men's Long Sleeve Posi Charge Competitor T. You notice they have lots of different colors. Uh, these are the Lime Shock. Those are the ones that I order. I actually have uh, those over here as well. This is actually the long sleeve Lime Shock. I did the uh, vinyl heat transfer. It's all wrinkled up right now. Uh, but there's it says GMFD on the front. And then I did a full back as well. Uh, this shirt is probably, I don't know, three or four months old. Um, so there you go. Full layout. All my information, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation or DetailJuice.com, blah 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 blah. Anyway, they look cool, they look good, they work well. Uh, as far as vinyl goes, I did uh, some beer, well, can koozies for Magnum Motorcycle Juice uh, with just it's the same T-shirt material. I just uh, pressed it onto the koozie, so I can do the koozies. I can get those. Uh, yeah, I'll do whatever I have to do to help you uh, get your business going. But at the same time, just remember, I'm doing this as a favor. I am a reliable source to help you out with this. I'm not going to do huge runs, but if you want a, a, a reliable source, a uh, quality source to get you going in t-shirts or whatever, I can help you out. Uh, t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts, jackets, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to keep it to the items that I showed you because I know the quality of them. Uh, the t-shirt, this t-shirt's called the Posi Charge, or yeah, Posi, Posi Charge Competitor T, but you can also get it in a long sleeve. And like I said, uh, that uh, hoodie is actually uh, Sport Tech as well, to a performance hoodie. So can you get cheaper materials to get the cost down lower? Absolutely, but I'm, I'm only willing to do the higher quality stuff, the stuff that I know works, because I don't wanna recommend something to you guys that I don't use or, or know or understand fully myself. So that's kind of where we're at, but as far as what you should wear, uh, I use these moisture wicking shirts that have my business information on them, short and sweet. Um, but I also have, uh, I, I use, basically I, I wear basketball shorts uh, to be comfortable on the low end, uh, and I use croc flops. I always, always wear croc flops. Always wear croc flops. Um, I know that you're getting into the winter time and that kind of thing. Uh, I would recommend some kind of waterproof boot so that if you're doing traditional washes or whatever, you're not uh, getting your feet soaking wet or whatever. But uh, I always wear croc flops, period. Uh, one pair lasts me a full season. Uh, they're not super inexpensive, but they are comfortable as all get out. 
Uh, you're not going to get stinky feet from getting your feet wet or whatever. Um, you're not going to ruin tennis shoes. You're not going to ruin these things by getting them wet. Croc flip flops are absolutely amazing. Uh, or you can get croc shoes for that matter. Just the material is water resistant. Um, you get air to your feet, which is important. Uh, I know that you guys are going into winter right now just because it's October, but crocs are amazing no matter what you get. Uh, and if you're doing detailing outside in the winter time, you want to stay warm, I would recommend some kind of waterproof boot. Um, I recently, I'm, I'm actually working with uh, the Speedo water shoes now. I, I won't, I won't say a lot about them. I'm still testing them, but uh, I'll shoot another video on what I wear on my feet. Uh, but I can tell you that 99% uh, of any time that I'm detailing or doing anything here in Florida, even in the winter time, I'm wearing Croc flops because they keep my feet aired out, they keep me comfortable, and they just last and they 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 work well. And, uh, you know, basketball shorts, you know, again, I wear black shorts all the time with either a lime green or purple shirt. Uh, it's, those are my colors. You know, pick your colors, uh, make it short and sweet, whether I do it or you have someone else do it. Just make sure that you don't pollute the shirt with too much information. You want them to see what's on there and be done. But any good advertiser uh, that you go to for screen printing, they should be able to tell you any of that. So if you don't buy from me, you buy locally, then that's fine. Uh, but just keep all that in mind. But that's it. I mean, just be comfortable. Uh, it's more important to be comfortable when you're detailing than it is to look overly professional. I mean, come on. The client knows that you're laboring. They get it. They understand. So there's a limit to how professional you have to look. You don't need a button down. You, need, you don't have to have a collared shirt. Listen, take this for what it's worth. This is a guy that's been in this industry for a long time. I know what it takes. I know what people want. I know how people react to certain situations. Um, and I can tell you that fancy doesn't matter because the customer knows that you are there to labor for them. You're doing the work. You're going to sweat. You're going to get tired. You're going to, you know, you're going to just be uncomfortable if you're in too much clothing uh, or if you're in uncomfortable clothes. So wear what makes you comfortable and makes you enjoy doing what you do uh, and it allows you to keep your passion in it while you work on making that profit. So if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Kind of a long video. I get it. I babble a lot. But if you want shirts, let me know. I'll hook you up. Uh, if you've got a, a vector file of your logo, I'll see about working that out. Um, you know, the more complicated it is, the more it's going to cost. But like I said, if we can keep it simple, I can keep the price down. But I'm only going to deal with these moisture wicking shirts. If you want regular t-shirts, I would recommend that you go talk to somebody else about that. But these shirts work. They keep me comfortable. And that's why I wear them. Because if they didn't work out for me, I wouldn't do it. And I sure as hell wouldn't recommend it to you. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you got questions, and I say this a hundred thousand million bazillion times, I'm here to help. If you need me, let me know. Thank you again. Have a great day.